Hi there. That's hi with an I, like in Hættuspil, my favorite Icelandic diphthong. When CCP brought out Hættuspil back in 98, it was a company with great plans, but no money. Hættuspil changed all that. You see, one out of every eight households in Iceland bought a box. That's almost 15,000 copies and uh, probably a world record per capita. This allowed the megalomaniacs of CCP to continue onwards to the next big project, which would later be called EVE Online. Now, after 15 years, we're going back to our roots and offering the high to spill for you to enjoy. First released in 1998, the game was called High to Spill, but is now called The Danger Game. It was developed in cooperation with, you guessed it, Alcoholics Anonymous, because the game is all about maintaining your brain cells while trying to break free of the vicious circle of drugs, alcohol, and bad company. While, of course, at the same time, trying to prevent friends and family from reaching that same happiness in life. Players roll the dice and try out their luck, but after that, it's completely up to them how they play the game. One round, you can lend your friend a helping hand, and the next round, you can stab him viciously in the back. But you have to think carefully, because for every action, there's a reaction, and you have to think who you want to form an alliance with, and who you want to stab in the back. And keep in mind that things can change rapidly. The original game was an Icelandic, but of course this new version is in English, with all the characters in the game replaced with CCP employees. All but one guy, of course. This guy here. Back in 1998, he was Iceland's most famous comedian, but these days he holds a slightly bigger role. He is the mayor of Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. But he was willing to join us again as the character of Granny. And dressing up in funny clothes is something he's not unaccustomed to, even in official capacity. The Danger Game is just one of the many exciting things included in the second decade collector's edition, shipping October 24th. Secure your copy now.